Good day. I would like to talk today about passwordless authentication, phishing resistant zero trust including, and the best possible user experience. Well, what is the best possible user experience? Let's see. For authentication, we believe that we should have new ways of thinking because the entire world is worrying about cyber attack and a lot of effort are spent to ease users' burden. But what are the users' burden related to cybersecurity? We would say the users' burden are about the login users have to make during the day. And so we would like to distinguish between two types of login, login to the endpoint and to everything else. With this differentiation, we can propose that endpoint access give access to everything else, meaning it will ease users burden big time, 100% of own online authentication with no user action required. So when I declare best possible user experience is because we believe the solution can have the best possible it is, no user action. Well, the question is, can endpoint access give access to everything else really securely and with no use action? Let's see this new way of thinking. Actually, it doesn't do the way of thinking at all. I mean, endpoint access give access to some application has been around. Let's consider this one is the endpoint. And so you log in the endpoint, ideally with preboot and MFA and then to the OS. And once you have access to the endpoint, you have access to all desktop application without user action. So that's what you know today and you know in the past. User log in the endpoint and have access to all desktop application without authenticating to any of the apps. So that's not completely new. Of course, today, the applications are no longer on the endpoint. They are mostly on the network and on the server. And the industry solution to take care of authentication to the, uh, the service provider on the end on the cloud is to have federated authentication. So the idea is uh, identity provider server, the IDP, can take care of all authentication for all services so that the application provider don't have to worry about authenticating, which is a very complex process. And at the same time, the federated authentication with one IDP allow the user to just look in the IDP and have access to everything else, the sing single sign on everything else. So that is the federated authentication the one is using to take care of you know, application on the clouds and so. The question to us though is, how can Magic Endpoint IDP grant user access without user action? So you can see, we consider this the endpoint, then the server. So our solution is to create a Magic Endpoint Center, which coordinate the endpoint and the server. And so for the endpoint, we do this. The endpoint will continue to verify the user accessing it. That's what the endpoint has been doing since ever. So, but now it continuously verify that. And like usual, if user, you know, doesn't use the endpoint for a while, it put up the screen lock. And if it want to do more, it can, the technology today allow the endpoint to use, to check user phone proximity, to now and then check user face ID and so on. In any case, that is what the endpoint does best, verify the user using it. And now because it had to bring that trust into the, the server part of the, the, the solution, we create a entity, user and device entity, which use the TPM as the root of trust, meaning this entity is represented by a private key which nobody else in the world has. Yeah. It is unbreakable cryptography, meaning you know, if you want to attack this endpoint, 
you have to take the entire computing power of the world, and it may take you hundreds, if not thousands of years until it can crack this idea. Okay? But on top of the device capability, we do so that this TPM only has the entity key if the user log into it and with the right user credential, it can create that. And so the device and user entity only exists when user log in. It will be erased when the user log off the endpoint. So we can have a very strong verification that the authentic user is using the ethnic, authentic endpoint in real time. This condition alone will prevent 99, if not 100% of all attack today, because attacker would have to go and steal the endpoint and have to unlock it first. Okay, so the endpoint continue to verify the user and have a way to prove it to the server. And so the endpoint will then have a persistent connection to the server using, let's say, FIDO, public key base, to make sure that it is secure. Endpoint will continuously give updates when there is change in security posture of the endpoint, or if the user log off, or if the user leaves the endpoint, so the user presence is also updated. Not only that, the endpoint knows the user intention as well, because the user will type to the endpoint to access any requests, any services. In the first place, the user use endpoint to do that. So the endpoint knows that too. So unlike all the solution, our endpoint solution knows user presence and intent. With this persistent connection, the server can continuously verify the real-time intelligence and about endpoint and the user, and even can control the access of the endpoint, not just controlling access of the application. In case the user informed the server that the endpoint has been stolen, the server could tell the endpoint to look the current attacker out, or even possibly tell the endpoint to tell where the location is so that the server, well, some uh, authority can go and catch the thief. The endpoint can do that. So with this magic endpoint center, we achieve through the event-driven update without pulling that security posture of the endpoint the presence and the intent of user are keeping up to date by the servers. The server know on the time in real time that the authentic endpoint and the authentic user is there. With this intelligence and magic endpoint center, when the service provider want to know to verify user or endpoint or whatever, the, the IDP can respond immediately that yes, the endpoint is good, or if it's not, then it can say it without user action. Okay. So again, it knows authentic endpoint, authentic user all the time, continuously. And you know, we not only try to support the application which support federated authentication, we also can support the legacy application with username and password through some password manager functionality. The point is, if you have endpoint access, you can do all kinds of this thing without authenticating yourself again. Let's see it in, in, in a clearer step. So that is what you normally see with regard to federated authentication. The user want to use, let's say Outlook, and talk to Outlook. Outlook say to the IDP, hey, verify user for me. IDP asks the user to take out the phone, press the button and do this kind of thing. And then IDP say, yes, it's verified and tell that to Outlook. Yeah. In our Magic Endpoint Center solution, the things look differently. The endpoint inform the IDP, hey, IDP, user has just started Outlook. The IDP will say, okay, now I know user has just started Outlook. Outlook will probably ask me to verify the user and the endpoint. I could ask the user to do some local gesture, but I know already he's there. I know already his intention to, to use Outlook. So I don't have to do anything. So when the endpoint 
request service from Outlook, and Outlook ask IDP for verification. The IDP can just say yes to the Outlook without doing anything. And you see the intimacy with the endpoint give us this. If the step one did not happen, if the endpoint did not tell the IDP that the, that the user has just started Outlook, and Outlook asked the IDP for verification, the IDP would know that the, the attempt to use Outlook come from an attacker and not from this user. So it can alert the authority or the SIEM solution right away in the first attempt that attacker is trying to attack. So with this method, we believe that we solve the zero trust continuous verification in a very elegant way, in the event-driven way. So we have not only continuous, but always verify thing solution without continuous polling and work. So we believe that you know, with all the thing we say, with we boot authentication and online and, and Windows login, and then everything else can be securely monitor continuously, real time, is so beautiful, it's so good. But then the question may be, how can you do that? Can magic endpoint really work? Okay. This is so game changing, so revolutionary. We did not invent everything, but what we did is we take the industry best idea and we add our innovation on it to implement this. For example, the industry best idea with, related, with regard to authentication are the three things. You know, the FIDO, the zero trust, and the federated authentication. That is what the industry have created in the last 10 years to take care of federated authentication, to make it online authentication possible, secure for users, for companies. Okay, so look at that. In FIDO, is about public key based authentication, which you know are replacing all the other methods of MFA, like SMS and OTP. They are no longer accepted by security organizations, organi uh, security con continuous, <laughs> uh, conscious organization now. Okay? So FIDO is the one replacing it. But then we not only take FIDO, we invent the entity user and device, which combine user and device together, not just user or device. And then we use a endpoint capability to make it in real time. Yeah. Furthermore, we don't use the multi-device FIDO key. Our key is non-copyable. And then with this idea of, 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 of unique, not copyable key, we can have several layers to make everything more secure than, than, than without that, okay? So we can be, say that our solution is very good and future-proof better than most other implementation out there. With zero trust, the world aspires zero trust and, uh, and agree that you know, continuous verification is good. But who can do continuous verification of user without user's burden? So we trust the endpoint. We believe that the endpoint is capable of protecting itself and give us correct update. And so that we can trust the endpoint to, ver to achieve the continuous ver verification without user's burden. Yeah. And also to trust the endpoint, well, we have worked on trusting the endpoint and protecting the endpoint for over 25 years. So we protect the enti entire disk encryption and we have you know, integrity check to make sure it cannot, be, it cannot be manipulated so that we can trust the endpoint as it is, as what we have today. The third best idea about authentication is the federated authentication or the concept of the IDP and IAM. Okay? So the whole world have federated authentication standard like SAMO, YDC and other protocol. But we believe that those protocol focus 
not enough on the endpoint. They focus on the user. But right now, the notion is that you should authenticate the endpoint, which can be authenticated much better than the user. And so we have to propose for the standard to have a more focus on the endpoint, which can make it very easy for the ecosystem partner to implement more secure solution, more accurate solution, and without users burden. So to recap, with our solution, user log in the endpoint with MFA and everything you wish, how secure it has to be, ideally attribute as well. And then for applications, for services, there's no more user action required because like we said in the beginning, the endpoint access should give access to everything else securely. You just have to use the endpoint correctly, okay? So if you have to take care of users authentication, you can do so that your user don't have to do anything authentication except look into the endpoint and continuously, you know, let the endpoint verify it and do whatever it needs to access the endpoint. So with that in mind, we believe that Magic Endpoint offers the most secure solution and the best possible user experience. Most secure because it takes the most secure FIDO and then it does it continuously because it's no user action is needed. And the best possible user experience is like we said, is the fact that user doesn't have to anything. So at WinMagic, we spent 25 years to protect the endpoint. And so for us, there is endpoint access and access to everything else. For endpoint access, we differentiate between pre-boot and OS login because at pre-boot is much more difficult to use the phone, to use the USB token, to use biometric and so on. But that's what we have been doing for 25 years. So we offer MFA even at pre-boot and of course for Windows. For remote access, we propose to use Magic Endpoint Center because no use action and very secure. We know again, user presence and even intention. For unmanaged endpoint, where we cannot have Magic Endpoint Center or for platform like phone and Mac Linux, which we only have our Magic Endpoint Center later this year. So we will use the phone. People will have to press a button on the phone like most other solution, but we have it today. But the idea is as well, if you really pay attention to security, if you really want to have the zero trust principle of always verify the user and device, you should use managed endpoint. Because of our, our engineering capability, we have also solution without the server whereby you can use the TPM or the endpoint or even the phone via Bluetooth to be you know, the FIDO device as well. But that is good more for consumer, I guess. Yeah. With Magic Endpoint, what you probably should know is that we offer the most secure and the best user experience with the best manageability because we protect, we can offer not only authentication, but also even the endpoint protection to have a very good foundation for your trust, the endpoint itself. So with 25 years of experience, and continuous uh, innovation, we can make cybersecurity very easy for you. I have been talking about user experience, but you know, WinMagic is not a, a lightweight security company. Since very early on, year 2000, our product was certified by the NSA for secret, top secret data for US government. In year 2002, we are the first one to receive a common criteria certification in the world in 2002 in Baltimore. I got it. I go, go on the stage and I got it. Well, luckily, Canada has you know, the first alphabet C. And so we are the first one among maybe three or five companies who have the, the first certification for a common criteria. But going further, we have the first certification for AES from NIST, the certification number one. And going further, we are not a lightweight security company. We are 
you know, we serve the most security conscious organization in the world. So with this game changing thing, uh, authentication, which can really implement zero trust strategy and this incredible user experience, we believe that Magic Endpoint and this vision will really make cybersecurity much easier for you. So talk to us when needed. Thank you. I hope you enjoy presentation. Thank you. Goodbye.